It is slightly over a month since Chess Bank reopened, but investigations into how the media lender collapsed in early April continue. The bank's directors have laid the blame on their auditor Deloitte for having misunderstood the principles of Islamic banking and denying them a chance to explain how it works. They would not possibly conceive or allow us to explain the Islamic concept and they stuck to the traditional form of securitization. The stance by the auditor reclassified 6.9 billion shillings worth of Sharia-based assets as the bank's investments, pushing up the level of the bank's inside lending. These further contravened principles of Islamic banking, thus deeming the companies used to invest in the Sharia-based assets as loans and advances. Since the bank's former chair and MD owned the companies, this automatically translated to insider lending, which remains the bone of contention. Mr. Chairman, I'm still completely dumbfounded as to why, with one week to go to the publishing of Chase Bank 2015 accounts, Deloitte's had a completely different view on how to treat these Islamic investments. It's like from having audited our books for the last four years and accepting it, suddenly one side was talking oranges and the other side was talking apples. The directors further say that the regulator, Central Bank of Kenya, neither queried the introduction nor operation of Sharia-based products for the four years that Chess Bank had been offering them. Former Chair Zafrullah Khan also confirmed that his resignation alongside the former managing director, Duncan Kabuis, wasn't voluntary as initially thought. We were asked to step aside on the, uh, on the morning of the 6th of uh, April on the Wednesday when we had gone into a meeting with the central bank. A documented table by the directors further reveals that the 1 billion shillings unsecured and non-performing advance included in suspicious insider loans was given to Mr. Khan. The loan was secured with future dividend payouts that had been awarded the former chair as bonus for his 18-year tenure as the bank's founder and group CEO. Patrick Igunza, Citizen, Live at 9.